Hi everyone, this is the complete PC optimization guide for the Ravens Watch scheme. I will show you guys the 14 important settings that you need to apply to optimize your PC for this game. So the first important setting is set high performance power plan. So go to the window search and just type in the control panel and open it. Now just click on the option of power option then just click on the option of create a power plan. Now hit just select the high performance power plan then just click on the next then just create it. Now once you created it, now the next important setting is turn off system configuration services. So go to the window search, type here the system configuration and open it. Now once you open it, click on the services on the top. Now here just check this box of hide all Microsoft services. Then just disable all of these. Now these are the useless and as you can see, I already stopped the services. Then just click on the apply then click on the OK. Now the next important setting is disable startup apps from task manager maker and click on your taskbar, open up the task manager, then go to the startups and hit just disable all of this. Because when you start your PC, these applications start automatically without your permission and causing a lot of CPU or RAM usage and causing your game crash or any performance issues. So just disable all of this. Now the next important setting is clear all windows cache for fix any kind of bugs so go to the window search and just type in the disk cleanup open it then just click on the ok then just check all of these boxes you are seeing here which is the delivery optimization files or the temporary internet files or the any kind of other files click on the ok then just click on the delete to delete these files completely then go to the window search and just type here the run and open it now here just type the percentage and time percentage then just click on the ok now you will see all the cache files or the junk files on your PC. So just make a right click on all of these. Then just click on the delete. So it is important to delete all of these files you are seeing here. Then just close it. Then go to the window search and just type it the run again and open it. Now here just type that temp. Once you type the temp only then just click on OK. Now you will see all the cache files or the junk files again. Now make a right click on all of these. Then just click on the delete. So once you delete all of these files, now the next important setting is disable high precision event timer. So go to the window set type with the device manager and open it. Now just look for the system devices and just look for the high precision event timer in the system devices. So make a right click on it and just disable this. As you can see the option of enable because I already disabled it. Now the next important setting is close background apps. This is not very necessary, so we are just skipping it. Now the next important setting is disable background apps from privacy settings. So go to the window set, type in the privacy settings and open it and on the left hand side just scroll down and look for the background app. Just click on the background apps. Then just disable it or turn it off because these are the useless application or unnecessary. Now the next important setting is off notification setting if you want to turn it off. Then go to the window set, type with the settings and open it. Now here just click on the option of system and on the left hand side click on the option of notification. Then just turn it off if you want to turn off the notification on your PC. Now the next important setting is off turn on fast startup. So go to the window search and just type here the control panel and it will appear on the top so open it. Now here just click on the option of power options. Then just click on the option of choose what the power button do then just click on the option of change now here just uncheck this box of turn on fast startup recommended then click on the save changes now the next important setting is enable game mode so you have to go to the window search and just type here the game mode so once you type the game mode this will appear on the top so open it now here just turn it on now if this is all then just turn it on now the next important setting is increase virtual memory so go to the window search and just type with the view advanced system setting open it then just click on the setting then go to the advanced click on the change option now here just select your c drive where your operating system is installed then click on the custom size then go to the window search and just type here the calculator and open it now guys if you have the 16 gp of ram then just multiply it with the 1024 which is the constant value and just type this value in the initial size and just multiply it with the 3 and just type this value in the maximum size now if you have the 32 gp of ram you can multiply 32 with the 1024 and just type this value in the initial size and just multiply this value with the 3 and just type this value in the maximum size 
now your virtual memory is increased then just click on the set then just click on the ok then just click on the apply to save the changes then click on the ok now the next important setting is increase number of processors so go to the window search and just type here the system configurations and open it now here you will see the boot on the top click on that then just click on the advanced options then just select here the maximum number of processors you have guys if you have the 4 8 16 or the any value selected then click on the ok then apply the setting click on the ok now the next important setting is just turn off the core isolation setting go to the window search and just type in the core isolation and open it now here you will see the memory integrity so just turn it off if this is on on your pc so once you turn it off now the next important setting is graphic settings so go to the window search and just type in the graphic settings and open it now guys here just look for your game which is the ravens watch just click on that then click on the option then just select it to the high performance so it can use your all graphical power to add the game click on the browse option and guys here just look at your game installation folder then just select your game launcher or exe file of your game then click on the add then click on the option then just select it to the high performance now the additional window setting is make sure your graphic card is updated to the latest version and also make sure that your windows is updated to the latest version after all of these settings simply restart your pc and now your pc is completely optimized for this game and guys if you find this video helpful so please consider liking this video and bye bye and take care